Hi guys, today we're going to be looking at the recently recovered Sim Refinery by Maxis. Obviously I'm sure you're familiar with the great Maxis games of the early 90s such as Sim City, or Sim City 2000, Sim Earth, Sim Ant, so many. But, but since 1992 there's been another uh, title in, in that series which was missing, presumed dead, until earlier this month. This month is June 2020. Yeah, I'm sure you think it's strange to have a, an oil refinery simulator game, but if it worked for ant colonies, it worked for farms, cities, then why wouldn't it work in oil? I've downloaded it on a floppy disk. Yeah, I think it took up the zip file and took up about 250 kilobytes. So it's not a not a big game. In fact, I think it went unfinished. But uh, all the same, we'll uh, we'll give it a go shortly. See what we think. Now I say game, but uh, Max's intentions for the software was actually for it to be used more as an educational tool. Back in 92, the software firm was working alongside uh, Chevron, the energy corporation, and um, the, in the intention of Sim Refinery was in fact to educate Chevron's employees and people in the industry on the workings of an oil refinery. And as a result, there wasn't a particular goal uh, with regards to the software. You couldn't complete it or finish it. It was merely a tool for demonstrating the works of the refinery. Now, Maxis had long deemed this game forgotten, and it was only recently that uh, a former refinery employee, he uh, read an article about the game, or the game's intention on Ars uh, forum, and he said, well, well, I've got a copy of that on the floppy disk. And, there, and uh, before he knew it, it was uploaded onto the Internet Archive, uh, free and ready for all of us to download and look ourselves. Okay, so here we go, uh, Windows 98 as ever, with the external floppy drive. And let's bang in Sim Refinery and hope for the best. Okay, just extracting, so far so good. Now for some reason it's not letting me create a new directory, it'll only seem to copy all the files to the desktop. I've tried both, drive, both hard drives on here. Oops. Not having any joy, but anyway, if we run the installation file on the desktop, it does yeah. copy all the files and make a bit of a mess. I'll now try and put them in the intended directory, which is currently on the desktop, as you can see, Sim Refinery. And we'll try running it from there. Okay, it looks a bit more promising. We've got a few files, we've still got the, you know, the batch files, we've still got the installation, an intro, and uh, the simref executable file. I'm not sure what the intro is exactly, we'll probably maybe come back to that, but we'll, uh, we'll give the simref executable file a go first. Excellent. It's done its job. I hope we can get past this introductory screen. Ah, yes. Not sure what's happened here, we've got the... Uh, Sim refinery edit, the sim refinery map. I'll just zoom you in a little bit. Doesn't appear to be full screen for some reason. Let's see what we've got in the options. Oh, we're gonna hold it down. Load old and new. Make one a tutorial. It looks like they intended to have a print function, although that's grayed out. Can't do that. You can save the game. Or at least I think you can. Save as. Alan, that's my name. Make recording. I presume that's a, a screen recording. Would be useful. Options. We've got the classic Maxis speed option. Normal, ultra, fast, slow and pause. Does it work? Oh, it does, yeah. If you see the timer in the top right, we're whizzing through. Uh, this January the 1st of 92. Oh, one of my uh, ships just moved. So we do have some sort of graphical uh, aspect of the game. There's an animation setting in options too. Well, on or off, that'll, I presume that'll be the ships and the uh, cooling towers. Hopefully they'll do something. The refinery. Currently set to auto-refine, whatever that means. 
sales forecast. Demand and price per barrel of uh, jet diesel fuse oil and asphalt. Very nice. What else? Product specification. The feedstock stroke supply availabilities and costs. Different types of crude oil, Arabian light, Caribbean medium. I have no knowledge of gas or fuel or oil, so I'm afraid I can't really explain to you anything about this. Oh, we've got a helicopter flying over. Maybe a, a nod to Simcopter the Operating plan. Crude selection or blender recipes. Well, we're gonna choose gasoline at present. Oh, four different ones. Let's try R32. That's what's got recipes for, I presume, particular kinds of oil and gas. Marvellous. Uh, evaluation. My annual report. Functional works well. Net income, income before taxes, etc. There's a few things within that uh, menu. Product balance. Try that one. So everything works well. Budget, capital budget. We've spent zero so far this year, although it's only January the 2nd, so give me a chance. Again, though, another function that's complete. You know, I read that this game was never finished production, but we seem to get a lot of a lot of the game does working apart from the print option, which I can't imagine we'd ever need particularly. External events on or off. We'll have them on. An accident report regarding hot oil pump leak and fire. Cost of the uh, cleanup and repair. Right, unit. Oh, lots of things on this menu. Diesel hydrofiner. Ah, appears we've had an accident. I'm glad something's finally happened. Uh, on day three of the game, we have a gasoline product tank fire. And obviously it's in the gasoline product tank. Cost of $20,000 to $40,000 to repair. I'm not sure how much money I've got. No uh, oh dear, another accident. Another hot oil pump leak and fire. Let's see if we can locate these. Uh, we can scroll up. We can make this full size. There's some animations going on here in the was even cars and another helicopter. See how big the map is, it is not too big. Looks like there's space to add buildings, these grey uh, grey rectangles. Perhaps try that in a second. I can't find this fire though. Or leak. Which is scary because we're now five days into the year. Not even a train go past. Another accident. Unit regenerator upset. Okay. Oh dear, another accident. There seems to be one every day. What have we got around here? Still no sign of the accidents, but we'll see what we can do on this menu. Very similar to SimCity 2000 interface. Oh dear, the bulldozing uh, function isn't implemented. Let's try building a road. Ah, so this is what they meant by the game being unfinished, or oh, sorry, I should say the software. Yeah, we can't build rail, road or rail. Another accident, go away. Can't do that. Ah, buildings, no. Future, no. I wonder what that meant. Oh, crude unit. Ah, we can build something. Perhaps it would fit there. We've crashed. Crude unit, try again. Wow, it worked. Again, no idea what these are. I didn't like that. Oh, yes. Same as the one above it. A sulfur plant, ah. Perfect. So that works. That doesn't. Does that say load dock? Nope. Another accident. 
worse than the Sim City disasters. This is. Ooh. This helmet seems to work. Ah, oh, it's an inspection. So we can inspect, presumably. No, we can't inspect every aspect of the refinery, but we can inspect certain things. Yeah, so the inspection tool works well. Shut down. Sadly, we can't shut down the refinery, Homer Simpson style, or indeed start it up because it's not shut down. Budget. Right, so my budget is 85,000 and that first uh, accident I had was, I think it said 20 to 40,000 dollars to repair, so with all the um, accidents happening, I think that would soon eradicate all my budget. Report, well, I think we've seen the reports from the uh, from the drop down menus at the top. So you know the game is. I guess it was some way to be finished, but just most of this menu on the left, the SimCity style menu, the options they don't work. But at least we were able to add a few cooling towers and hydrofiners and plants. It could have been a really useful tool. I'm not sure how how far it got with Chevron as to them establishing it. Uh, within their organisation. I guess that's one to look at in the future. But there you go. Sim Refinery in all its glory. Very Sim City esque. Well, now we can see where the accidents are. Oh well, it's too late now. Anyway, but there you go. I hope you like this brief uh, look at Sim, Sim Refinery from 1992. So there we have it. Um, not the greatest of software packages I've ever seen. And would it have been a commercial success for Maxis had it been released uh, to the public? I'm not so sure. But then again, as I said, who would have thought uh, an ant colony would be so engaging or running a farm or a city, an earth, an isle. Maxis had everything up their sleeve and the formula seemed to work. I guess we'll never know. But as I said, it's free to download. You might as well give it a whirl yourself. Thank you, and keep subscribing. Goodbye.